tonight from Los Angeles to talk about it. Good morning to you, Peter. Hi, I mean, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah, you must be thrilled with this because I know you love the character. I've read enough about it. Um, you must be glad he's back. Oh, I'm delighted he's back, and I do love him. You know, it also is the, exactly the way you wanted it. You only wanted to do three or four episodes a year when you were doing the original Columbo, and now you, you're on every third week. Is that more workable for your schedule? That's a little better. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing five. We were supposed to do six. Because of the strike, we could only do five. But five is not three. No, that's right. I knew that. I did know that. You spent a lot of time in solitude in your studio. You're a wonderful artist with charcoal. Oh, thank you. And you do a lot of work uh, uh, regularly, don't you? Oh, it's off and on, Eileen. I don't know. It stops and it starts. It depends. <laughs> uh, when I have time, I like to do it. Tell us if Columbo has changed at all. You know, I was reading this weekend, there's some new pilot for a cop show that's a high-tech show. I mean, it seems that you're keeping the same Columbo, but are the storylines changing? No, I think the storylines are about the same, Eileen. Uh, you know who did it. You see the mo murder unfold. You know, the first uh, 20, 25 minutes, you see the murder unfold. Columbo arrives, and then I nail the guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, same old formula, right? Right. But it works. Is it the same coat? Is it exactly the same coat? Yeah. Yes. It is? It is exactly the same coat. You've been treating that coat well. I, yes, I do treat it well. I put a saucer of milk out for it every night. <laughs> This coat, Eileen, is, uh, I bought it in 1967, so it's about, uh, what is that, 67, 77, 87, about 22 years old. Wow, that is great. You know, the reason I asked you about storylines is because the world has changed in 12 years since we last saw Columbo. You know, we've got the drug issues, we've got domestic violence, the homeless. I mean, are you taking any of those issues and incorporating them into what we see? I never thought uh, uh, that Columbo was a show that dealt with con particular issues. He deals with murder. Now, murder took place 300 years ago. It takes place today. It's always the same. Uh, a good clue is a good clue. That's right. It doesn't make any difference what decade it is. And I think this character is exactly the same. He, uh, he doesn't change. You know, there are a lot of stories about you walking off the set in anger, and yet you are very well respected and loved in the industry. And you and I both know what can happen to someone who is, quote, a prima donna. How have you struck a balance there? I mean, you stand up for what you think, and yet the crew and everyone still likes you. Well, now, let me hear this question again. <laughs> How did I strike a balance between... Being able to walk off the set, I mean, you've done it before, there's a lot written about that, and yet people still like you, people who work with you. Well, most of the problem, is it had to do with, uh, I was just trying to get the show right, I was just trying to get the scripts right, and I, uh, you know, when you have a studio that turns out 30, 40 shows, from their point of view, they have to treat all shows the same. They can't make exceptions. Uh, uh, they're cutting their uh, donuts and they send them out. And if you want your show to be treated specially, you've you got to fight for it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. We saw you the last time you were here. You were doing David Mamet's Glengarry Glen Ross at the Wilbur Theater. That was the most brilliant show. Did you enjoy touring with that? Oh, I loved that, Eileen. I really did. Was that a real... Uh, would that be a stretch for any actor because of that incredible dialogue? Yes, I think Mamet is very tough to act. Very, very... It's deceptively difficult to act. But I love that. I love the cast, and, and I love that theater, incidentally. The Wilbur Theater, is a, it's just the gem of a theater. It's a very intimate setting, isn't it? Which is really nice. Uh, it's just the right size. Is it? You know, I said earlier in the show that you are probably the original wise guy. I was reading a, uh, a story about you when you were in Little League, and you were called out by the umpire. Uh, tell that story. Do you remember it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well... The guy called me out, and I thought I was safe, and I just whipped out the glass eye and it, handed it to the umpire. <laughs> Told him he could do better with that one. <laughs> so Peter Fox doing pretty well, huh, right now? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad, Peter. I really am. And it's at 9 o'clock tonight. We get to see you with the same coat, and that's good. It's about, nice talking to you, Eileen. Great to talk to you, Peter. Thanks a million. You take care of yourself, all right? You do the same.